Welcome everybody. Um, um, hello. I would like to uh, talk to you about the concept behind Imokamu today. I would like to start to you about some questions that I moved at the beginning when I first thought about this technology. Would it be possible to create a new technology and apply it to the field of therapeutic? Would it be possible to create also a code between colors and sound and apply it in order to enhance creative expression? And would it be also possible to create this technology and apply it in order to track emotional processes and do the analysis of these emotional processes in people? Well, these are some of the questions that I moved at the beginning, and so the answer for me is Imokom. Uh, but let's see what is Imokom. Imokom is thought to be a software that enhances the creative expression throughout sound and colors that the participant can control with their movements. And this means that if I'm doing this, I can play an instrument and some sounds, and at the same time I'm painting with colors all around me because it's in 3D reality, virtual reality, three dimension. So if I do this or this other kind of movement, I'm generating other kind of sounds with other instruments and the color will be different all around me. But let's go and see the variables that shape Mokomo, starting with the technology. The architecture of Mokomo, as you can see, is the body tracking, as you can see here. So it's like a tracking of the wall skeleton and in this way we can relate this movement to sound and color and we can take really important data for the main purpose but also in order to do so one of the other important things to do is to find programmers and softwares always following one of the main purpose that is to offer an open source accessible by everyone and this means also to educational institution and what about music? Because I say that Imokamo is emotion, color, and music. So let's start from the very end, this music. Well, we know that music enhances the recover in different passions that have different kinds of traumas because it enhances the physical, psychological, and also physiological recovers. But also, music, as it has been demonstrated, regulates the neurotransmitter levels of dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, and activates also the hormonal changes. I know these are a lot of words, but basically what this means is that these substances are really important in our brain, in our daily life, because these substances help us in order to behave with the environment, in order to manage our stress, our daily stress. And it's quite interesting and fascinating that music can do can do that, can do that so. <laughs> so I wanted to use music in a way, in this, as music is an emotional regulator, I wanted to apply music in order to give to everybody the opportunity to create music, to compose music with sound. Because while we compose, we feel free. When we compose music, we express our emotion. We express what we feel. And this is really important things to do, to express our feeling. So I wanted to do this with this technology but not just this. I wanted to add a visual element that is color. How? We know that color as music is a language. And we don't need to talk about music therapy or color therapy in order to understand the power of those two medium. We know that colors have a psychological effects. We experience this each day. Think about this morning. You woke up, right? Yes. I guess so. So you woke up and you choose the colors to dress. Well, maybe not every day, but some days at least. Or today, well, I choose it. <laughs> and we do so because colors are an emotive and expressive component. And we learn this in our infancy. And we learn to give to each color an emotion. So the importance of color is really big. And I wanted to couple this to sound in a common. So I start to search for a correspondence between color and sound and I find out that there are a lot of correspondence, a lot of different theories from Kandinsky, Scriabi, Messian, Monsen, there are a lot and I can't even remember all the names, I'm sorry, but there are so much theory and I choose one. 
for, by Luigi Veronese, and I choose this because it's based upon a physical relation of frequencies between sound and colors. So I choose this, and as you can see, the sound are related and the notes are related to colors. And so I found this theory. But again, something lacked, because I wanted to use this relation and I wanted to link this relation with another important variable, that is movement. Why movement? Movement can give us a lot of information regarding the external world again. But I'm not talking about the movement of grasping and water or water or sitting on a chair. I'm talking about another kind of movement. The movement that we use to express ourselves. That things for example, for example about me. What do you think if I talk in this way and I move it in this way? Or what if I move it this way? Can I talk to you? Uh, what if I talk in this way? More expanded. This is totally different, right? So yes, movement is a good parameter in order to understand emotional processes in people. And why don't you couple this parameter with color and sounds? That's why I try to do this with Imokomo, but also it's really hard to talk about all these variables, all these things without mentioning the word emotion. Emotion is always present, right? What is about emotion? It comes from the Latin emovere. And basically what it means is to take something out, to move, is emotion, <laughs> is a movement, is the movement that we do. Of course it's something inside us, it's an emotion, is inside, so inner world, but it connects to the external world, and it's again a movement. So I wanted to use all these elements together in a synergy, and I really like the word synergy, because basically it means that when we take different kind of variables, we put this together, and in a synergy, the power is trained more, twice. And for the main purpose, that is to do a therapeutical technology. And I'm very proud of what we've done, we did here. Because here at Unicamps at NICS, I had the opportunity to develop a prototype of Imokum. And saying about the prototype means that we are doing with it uh, a pilot that is just a part, a symbol of what Imokomo would be. So it means that if I move my arcs like this, this movement is connected to seven color and seven sounds. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si. And I would like to share this with you today, just two minutes of video. Mm.